and I'm going to place my left hand behind my back and I'm going to feel like everything I've just explained. That club works up on plane. I feel like the right hand's doing a lot of the work and I feel like I'm using the weight of the club to swing this down. What you'll actually notice is I can hit behind this ball and it can still be okay. So let's give it a go, see what kind of flight and contact I get. Welcome to the channel guys, my name's Ryan Moke and today we're going to talk about how one-handed chipping could actually help you as a drill. That's right, I'm talking about a trail hand only drill when it comes to chipping. So if you're someone who drags the handle, you scull it across the green, you flum it right in front of you, this drill could really help you start to land the bounce on the ground and chip it a lot better. It's a real simple drill to practice, one arm only, nice and clippy off the turf. Let's get stuck in. So before we get stuck into this one arm only drill, I see a lot of amateur golfers and professional golfers as well, when they get set up to a chip shot, there's a lot of what we call handle drag. Now what that means is you are dragging this handle too far towards the target. And what we really wanna try and do is we wanna try and expose the bounce of the golf club when chipping. So the bounce of the golf club is obviously the bottom of the club. And what I see from a lot of players that drag that handle is they're reducing the amount of bounce they can use and they start to use the leading edge. So what happens is we start to scull that ball, we start to flum that ball, it just goes right in front of us. And especially when we're in tighter turf conditions, we need to be able to land that bounce on the ground. So some shots that I see when someone is dragging the handle is I see a lot of digging. So they, they tend to get this, this ball position way back, they lean forward, shaft goes forward in a bid to hit ball first. Now in chipping, we can actually hit behind the ball and still be okay. So these players will, will look like this and then there'll be a lot of handle drag and they'll, what they'll see is you'll bottom out behind the ball, you'll chunk it and the ball hasn't got to the green. The other shot that I see, which is basically the same issue, except now the golfer is trying not to hit the ground because they know they're gonna flum that thing right in front of them. They actually start raising up and they get a little bit scared and they start to blade it. So what I see again, a lot of this, and then basically through impact is they stand up and they try not to hit the ground. They're trying not to hit the ground because they know if they do, that ball just goes two to three foot in front of us. So what they do is they jump up and they scull that ball all the way across the green. We've missed the ball in a great spot here. The green's only about 10 yards away from me, but now we're faced with another chip shot. They grab out their putter and all of a sudden they've got those chipping Y words that we, uh, that we don't want to use in, in the game of golf. So how does this drill benefit you? Let's go over a few things that it can do for your chipping. The first thing we need to understand is how do we set up to this drill? We take our normal chipping setup, we take our normal chipping grip, and we remove the top hand, okay? We remove the lead hand. And what we're going to see is we've got the right hand on the grip, and it's roughly in the middle of the grip. We don't want it too high, nor too low. From there, what I want you to do is basically remove the left hand out of the equation. So you can put this in your pocket, you could put it behind your back, you could even place it on your right bicep. We're gonna explain why I like to place it on the right bicep very shortly. But basically, without my left hand on the club, what I'm able to now do is swing the weight of the club back and through, feeling the club head swinging. Now, I wanna add a pivot to that to complete my chipping motion as well. But what you're going to notice, when I use my right hand only, it's very difficult to pull the handle in the, in the downswing. It's actually really difficult to do. So what actually happens is the weight of the club and the right hand kind of feels like it needs to throw the club head down at the ground. Now what this is going to create is less shaft lean and it's going to land the bounce on the ground. It's not going to dig that leading edge in. Whereas if I was to place another hand back on, what happens is I occasionally get this left hand to pull and this right wrist stays in that, in that uh, extension right there. Whereas when I've got right arm only drill happening, you'll see that I'm losing that angle in that right hand. I don't tend to keep that like I do with two hands. So the benefits you're going to see from this face-on view are going to be less shaft lean at impact, 
you're going to see the bounce being utilized a little bit better and you're going to see the weight of the club start to fall as I pivot through the golf shot. Now the benefits you see from a down the line perspective is what you're going to notice is the club will track pretty nicely on plane. So if you're someone who struggles with taking the club out or taking the club in or hooding the club in when you're chipping, what you're going to notice is the club starts to swing up on plane quite easily, right? And what you're going to notice is the key behind all of this is how we move the right arm. Sometimes when I'm teaching this drill to players at, at first is they'll actually separate their right arm away from their body. And that's when we start to create some issues with this drill. Now all of a sudden it's really hard to find the, the, the bottom of our swing arc again. And that's why I like to sometimes place this left hand just on my right bicep like this. And what you're going to notice is this left hand is just basically tell, telling me that my elbow, okay, my right arm and my elbow need to stay attached to my armpit as I swing back, as opposed to taking it out and away, okay? So all I'm going to do is I'm going to place my left arm on my bicep, I'm going to swing back, letting the weight of the club do the work. My right hand's giving a little bit. And you'll see that I've just folded my right wrist and my right elbow a little bit. And that's what gets this club on plane. And then from there, I can feel like I'm throwing that club head through to the target and I'm getting my pivot to go with it. So what does it look like from this side? I'm going to feel like my right hand, uh, sorry, my left hand is on my right bicep. I take that club back nicely on plane. I feel the weight of the club and I feel the right hand throwing that club a little bit and then I add the pivot. And what you're going to notice is the finish position of this golf club is right in front of me. It's not pulling across with, with both hands like this and cutting across. And it's definitely not finishing too far out here, which I don't see a lot of golfers doing anyway. I see a lot of golfers who handle uh, handle forward, ball back, cut across it, and you'll see this finished position where the, the hands are this way, and they've, they've held that grip really tightly this way. So the great thing about this drill here is we take it back on plane, release the club with our, and, and pivot, and what you'll see is that the butt of the club and your belly button are all in one line. So I'm going to hit a couple of shots for you, and you can see this turf here isn't being touched. Okay, there's, there's some nice tight downgrain turf right where I am here. And I'm going to place my left hand behind my back and I'm going to feel like everything I've just explained. That club works up on plane. I feel like the right hand's doing a lot of the work and I feel like I'm using the weight of the club to swing this down. And what you'll actually notice is I can hit behind this ball and it can still be okay. So let's give it a go, see what kind of flight and contact I get. Really, really nice and that's I'm going to move the camera in a second. You're going to see how, how short that ball is. That ball's actually sat really soft. It's come out nice flight, nice spin, and it's sat so soft, probably softer than if I had two hands on the club. So you can see that ball on the green there. It's just left of the flag, but it's only bounced about mm, two foot on the green, and it's still stopped uh, a good five to six foot short of the, uh, of the flag. So let's grab another ball, and let's give that another go so you can see the flight and the contact that comes from this kind of uh, right hand only drill. So again, place my left hand behind my back. That's how I like to do it. Again, I said sometimes you can just put it on that right bicep if you feel like you're taking the club away a lot and separating this elbow from the side. Um, in fact, I might even do that for you here. So I'm gonna place my left hand on my right bicep. Again, feeling the weight of the club doing the work, making sure I pivot. A little bit higher, that one a little bit shorter, but if you're someone who struggles with that real low hot ball that, that never spins anyway, that's a great feeling for you. I'm gonna remove my left hand from my bicep this time, and I'm going to hit one more for you. Hopefully we can get that nice little low spinner that I see that comes off this ball quite a lot. So typical ball position, I'm gonna do that again. So that was a little bit better there. Maybe need a little bit more backswing, but you can see how soft this golf ball comes out when I'm doing that drill. 
And what you'll notice here is the turf is barely being touched. It's a really nice contact. It's a really nice feel to know that I could do this drill all day long and never flum one, never blade one across the green. That's an amazing feeling when it comes to chipping. So now that we've done that drill with one arm only, it's time to put both hands back on the club. Now, the one thing you'll notice when you put both hands back on the club is your left arm may want to pull that handle. So you really have to make sure that you're feeling everything in your right hand or your trail hand. So I'm gonna place my left hand back on and all I'm feeling is the same drill. So if I can replicate that feel with my, with my left hand now back on the golf club, what you're going to notice is a very similar action. So I'm feeling my right arm only, okay? Feeling it throw, and then I need to pivot along with it. So let's give it a go with two hands and see if I can hit one nice and close. So there you can see that that was a nice, soft, low spinning shot. Uh, it's finished about two to three foot away from the hole. And all I really tried to feel there was that I used my right arm and my right hand for everything, plus made sure that I pivoted through that golf shot, made sure I kept turning. One thing I don't want to do with this is I don't want to just feel like I flip it, okay? That's a really important thing about this shot, is you want to feel like when you're using that right arm only, you are making sure you're pivoting around the corner with that golf club, not just flipping it on its own. So guys, I hope you all enjoyed that video. Give this technique a try, use it in your chipping during your practice, and then try and get it two hands on the club and see if you can do the same thing. If you like this video, please press the like and subscribe button. Comment below if you have any questions. Till next time, thanks for watching.